Hey everybody, this is Ryan from The Tap with Patrick and Ryan. And this week's episode is coming to you from the vault. We'll be back next week with an all new episode. Enjoy. Yes. I was legitimately asking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Uh, you grabbed a couple of books. I did. We're at Barnes and Noble today. In would you call this report or just all around the speaking? I think it's called Norton Shores. Norton Shores. Yeah. Who cares? Norton Shores, Michigan, but basically Muskegon. What episode is this? Like four? This is the fourth one that we've done. Sure. Oh, the tab. The tab. With Patrick and Ryan. He's Patrick. I'm Ryan. Actually, today I'm playing the part of Ryan. If you notice, I'm wearing a. Uh, Plaid shirt, mm-hmm. nearly bummed up with a vest. Yep. And some khakis. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing some weird hippie drug rug. Yeah. I usually Because I didn't feel rug. like showering. I can smell it. That's not true. A little true. So today we're at Barnes and Noble. Because we still don't have a uh, studio. Nope. I think when we start a studio, we get a studio, we need to call it the Slacker Studio. Why? Because we're pretty lazy about this. We do no prep. There's no notes. Oh, yeah. I think this is the least prepared week we've had. I had a lot I wanted to talk to you about. First off, I had a dream about your sister. <laughs> Se- wait, which one? I believe it was Sarah. Sarah. Which, I don't remember what was going on in the dream, but I think she was yelling at me. And I called her Nagatha Christie. <laughs> Like from Archer, mm-hmm. and I woke up with an erection, and I immediately <laughs> thought, I gotta tell Ryan about this. I'm glad you thought about me with an erection. It was awkward. Um, last Monday, what did you do? Oh, after we had talked about it, we talked about pooping our pants. <laughs> And I swear to God, I went to work on Monday at 6 a.m. We start, and I was very focused on getting my machines running. And I felt like I had to poop. But I wanted to get some stuff going, and someone else was in the bathroom. So I decided to kind of hold it, just kind of tamp it down a little bit and wait. Well, I got to the point where I couldn't wait anymore, so I had to go use the stealth bathroom. But on the way, I shit my pants. <laughs> I got to the stealth bathroom, and I thought, well, it's maybe not that bad. Maybe it's just, just a little bit. Oh, no, it was a lot. It was like peanut butter. Oh, no. It was the worst. Like natural peanut butter where you have to mix yeah. it a little bit? Yeah. Oh, oh. it was gross. So there's no toilet paper in the stealth bathroom. So I got out of there and I went to the regular bathroom where I had to like clean up my underwear. <laughs> clean up myself. So you've already made one stop where you were expecting to clean up yeah. but couldn't. Oh, it was the worst. And then you had to move to another one. <laughs> and I literally, I just literally shit my pants. And I took my underwear off. I haven't taken them out of my car yet. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with you? Why? They're all like wiped out or like I cleaned them out with water, but I just haven't taken them out of my car yet. Well, they're probably like in the front seat too, aren't they? No, they're in the back seat. Oh, okay. They probably froze because we had like three inches of snow yesterday. <laughs> Something like that. Um, like how many times in your adult life now have you shit your pants? At least six. That's. It's just like six too many. And you are not, you're like, you're not close to 50. No. I'm on the south side of 50. Oh, Don't pay attention to that. What I, happened? Did you laugh so hard you busted a capillary in your nose? Probably. No, it's just weather. We'll punch through it. We'll punch through it. Fuck it. We'll punch through it. <laughs> oh, 
He stuck a toilet paper up his nose. It's, not, it's a napkin. It's a napkin. I have a little dignity. A little. Okay, but if it gets too gross, let me know, because I can change it's it. It's going to fill up like a tampon. It's it's a gusher right now. <laughs> I, I, feel, oh, I hate it. You can feel it coming. Out. <laughs> Shut up. There's nobody around. I will literally give you twenty dollars if you go to every woman in this. You won't. Space and ask for a feminine napkin. <laughs> like that, just like that. I don't think that's what tampons are called. What are they called? Feminine products. I thought it was called a feminine napkin. We'll have to Did check on that. Research on that. Yeah. I listened to a podcast the other day that was all about periods. It was disgusting. Why did you listen to it? <laughs> it's off a pretty famous comedian. Who? Ari Shafir. Oh, he's funny. Yeah. I like him. He had these three women on. They talked about their periods, their experiences. He's like one of those shock comedians who, like, he likes to offend you. Yeah, he used to do the Amazing Racist videos. Yeah. <laughs> I think, did you see that movie 43? 42? Maybe. I don't know. It was like the this... Jackie Robinson story? Yeah, that stuff. I think it was 42. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it could be wrong. It might have been 33. But it was that movie... Like, Lindsay Lohan was in it, too? Oh, no. That's definitely not the Jackie Robinson baseball movie. No. <laughs> I think... What am I talking about? I think I know what you're talking about. Was he in that? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, he did a lot of funny stuff in that. But anyway, what were we talking about before this happened? Every time you talk, there's this little, <laughs> thing, little tail that moves. Oh, oh my god. That's hilarious. Alright. We're getting through this. <laughs> Punching through it. I'm getting, I'm getting rid of the tail. There. Alright. I uh, While we were at the bookstore, I picked out a couple of books that I'm going to recommend. <laughs> That he's never read before. <laughs> Maybe I have. You haven't. Cosmo's Naughty Notes. 100 Sexy Stickies to Tease, Tantalize, and Turn your turn On Your Man. Surprise your guy with them. This is from the editors of Cosmopolitan. Oh, cool. So, that's good. I, uh, I don't think I would buy this. Yeah, why would you? I don't, I don't know, I think it's stupid. Like, we'll read some like of the joke. notes. One is, I don't plan to get out of bed all week and care to join me. That's stupid. It's not very economical either. Here's your to-do list for today. Are you ready? Yeah. Laundry. Uh-huh. Grocery store. Yeah. Buy a bottle of wine. Sure. Me. <laughs> the to-do list. I would not buy this for my man. You, you would. <laughs> for your man? You know what I could use right now? What? Your lips on mine. That one goes out to Katie, our number one fan. <laughs> For Patrick. For Patrick, not me, Patrick. Let's see. What's up, Patrick? I miss you. Katie also sends out a cheer up handsome. I see oral sex in your picture. Oh, well, good job. Patrick. Oh, great. Yeah, we recommend this book for Patrick and Katie. Yeah, I think this would really help their relationship. <laughs> Oh, here's one for me. Did I ever tell you I was voted most flexible in my yoga class? I don't believe that for a second. True story. I don't believe that you took a yoga class. I would. I would take hot yoga. You ever heard of that? Yeah. It's, it's like they just super hot in the room. Yeah. It's not hot girls, but... They might be. Might be. Might be worth checking out. Yeah. Did you ever watch uh, Requiem for a Dream? No. Fuck. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I have... Besides the tampon up your nose. It's not a tampon. It's just a napkin. It's this very one. uncomfortable, by the way. Oh, my God. This one is gross. I would never do this. I dare you to leave the lights on. I want to see everything. You don't like to do it with the lights on? I thought, like, not, like, all the lights on. Like, a light. Maybe, like, like small lamp. Nice, dim light. Yeah, I don't want, like, bright spotlight on. You don't, you don't want, like, movie shoot lights? No. <laughs> 
this, I would not buy this. And the worst thing of all, I mean, this is a cheap book. Um, it's ten bucks. What? It's like cheaply made for ten bucks. Like what do old people say? They say chintzy. Chintzy, yeah. Oh, I hate that like word. Those are like post-it notes. That's what it's supposed to be. Hey, I skipped the gym today. Any idea how I can work up a sweat? Yeah, I get nervous. Gross. You talking about that old woman? No. Oh, that was another thing that happened. I was at work and my wife sent me a uh, picture from M Live of uh, people that were sentenced. Yeah, your ex girlfriend. And my ex girlfriend. Angela. One of many. Uh, I have like six ex girlfriends. It's got to be more than that. I know. I'm just, I don't know what's <laughs> But go on with this. But uh, she was busted for like some kind of fraud where like using a financial device. I think like stealing credit card information. Oh. Sentenced to like four months in jail. So I immediately sent her a friend request. <laughs> now I gotta wait four months for her to get back to me. But you don't think they do Facebook in jail? Do you think they do? Like maybe they have access? Maybe for the good ones. Like the ones who don't on a regular like basis. The but there's a there's no such thing as a jail trustee or a prison trustee. There's not. I don't know. I've never been to prison. They have trustees that they like kind of let them out to clean and. How do you know this? I've seen TV. <laughs> I've watched movies. That's not real. I've been to jail. Oh god, he's changing. <laughs> changing the pad. Don't look. Oh my god. I get like. You're gonna throw up, are you? Really? Yeah. I, I'm used to it just because I bleed so much. Okay, so I'll, I'll, the serious book I got this From week. From my nose. I, I picked up the D and D Player's Handbook. Now, for, <laughs> for our listeners who don't know what D and D is, it's uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. This is everything a player needs to create heroic characters for the world's greatest role playing game. So you can pick this book up at Barnes & Noble for uh, $49.95. Oh my god. Remember, save 10%. Nice little plug. Uh, have you ever played a role-playing game before, Ryan? I played Dungeons & Dragons before. This is Dungeons & Dragons. I know, but... You've played it before? Yeah. When you were a kid? Younger? When I was a teenager, I played it one time. Like well, <laughs> I ate a whole can of corn while I was playing it, if that tells you anything. How did you eat corn while you played it? I was hungry. Was it like part of your character? No. Was it corn goblin? I just wanted corn. You had a corn? Yeah. Was it cream corn? No, it was just... What's your favorite kind of corn? On the cob. Really? Yeah. Like off the grill? You're yeah. That? That's good. Yeah, you grill it with the husk on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You soak it in salt water. Mm-hmm. I had that a lot this summer. Oh, yeah. I didn't. What's your favorite kind of corn? Um, I would say the cream corn. Why? It's like sweet. So like it's tricking your your body that you're eating corn, but it, it thinks you're eating dessert. I eat a lot of desserts. <laughs> really? I don't know. I just like corn. I mean, there's a zombie response vehicle. That Jeep had a zombie response vehicle sticker. Good thing zombies aren't real. Just like that person. Yeah, so we're also looking out the windows at Barnes & Noble. A lot of windows. So, a lot of people moving around. A lot of like, random like, comments. So, anyway, this D&D book. I used to play... Um, I played D&D like once, I think. I wasn't very good at it. We used to play uh, Star Wars. Like it was D&D. They had Star Wars role-playing games. Uh-huh. Books. We used to do that a lot. That was fun. I would, I would play some D&D, though, know, for real. Yeah? I would just have a hard time getting by the $50 price point to, to buy it. I don't know why. I don't think you really have to do that. You could probably just look it up online. Yeah, but you need the books to play. play. Oh. Yeah. Well, don't those come with the game boards? The one I had was like a beginner set that came with all that stuff. There is a beginner set. I think it's like 30 bucks. Uh-huh. Which, again, remember saving an additional 10%. <laughs> players like buy all of the books to uh, add to the collection to really flesh out what they want to do with the story and characters. Mm-hmm. So, 
would be cool. I just, I don't know. I, I routinely yeah, buy video dumb. games for like anywhere from twenty to sixty bucks. Really? How many video games do you have then? Do I own? Probably a hundred. That's quite a bit. I buy a lot of games. But I also trade them in too. You always get ripped off. But uh, I bought PlayStation VR when it launched. Uh -huh. Just to get that. And that takes off. Yeah, right? No. <laughs> Where, uh, that was... I don't know, how would you explain what just happened there? She looks like a, uh, a Russian mail-order bride. Yeah. It's lived a rough life. I bet they probably all do. That's in gross. They all probably smoke. They probably, yeah, he had to deal with all the stuff they had to deal with. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway. That's yeah. been suggested that I do that. Like, more than once. Why? I don't know, because I'm sad and lonely. <laughs> Are you that sad? Anymore? No, no, not even close. It's gotta be a scam. Like they, they come over, you go meet them, you spend thousands of dollars to meet these women. And then they come over, and once you're married, they have to spend how many, like two years with you, maybe? I don't know. And then they leave. Really? Like once they get their green card, they just assume they leave. Well, what if, what if they fall in love with you? Do you think that's really possible? Like. I mean, not that it's impossible for someone to fall in love with you. Oh. Like, oh. I just, it just seems like a scam. Like, someone's making money. I don't think they are. Putin. Putin. Yeah, he's got to be. He's a crafty person. We should pick a celebrity that, like, hey, have a vendetta against. Yeah. Who would you pick? I don't want to do like an easy one like Kim Kardashian. It's too easy. That's no, she's not a celebrity. Don't give her that name. I mean, she, she is, but she shouldn't be. I almost want to pick somebody beloved. Like saintly. Saint. Fucking Mother Teresa. She's dead already. You can't hate you on can that. You still hate her. No. They just canonized her. She's a saint. What? Yeah, they made her a saint. Saint Mother Teresa. After she's dead? Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the things. What the hell is the requirements? Point? I think you have to be dead to be canonized. Really? Yeah. I don't think there's any living saints. Mm. Not bad. What do you mean? Uh, they look young. Yeah, for young people, that's not a problem. For old guys like you. Yeah, but I'm not a pedophile. So I she's 12. She's not 12. You can't drive a car if you're 12. That's probably your mom. No. So anyway. What about that one? The brunette? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, my wife sent me that picture of my ex-girlfriend. She's like, Nick, you're love of a lifetime. <laughs> Which, it's funny because... When I was dating Angela, our song at the time was Love of a Lifetime on oh Fire. And one time we got into a fight and I took the cassette out of the tape deck uh -huh. and I threw it out my window while we were driving. Uh huh. It's like, that's it. <laughs> and you broke up with her like that? No, I don't remember how I broke up. But I was heartbroken, I think. Oh. I was being like, a yeah, jerk. I think she's like addicted to math now or something. It's your fault. It could be. I mean, it all might stem back. Yes. I bet it does. Well, when we were younger, like, she would sneak out of her parents' house. And me and another friend would pick her up and pick up this other girl who's a train wreck, too. Uh-huh. Uh, she would always, like, steal money from her parents. And they had this ice cream shop. So she would always, like, she'd come loaded with, like, $200 worth of quarters. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> So, yeah. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're like 16, 17 and you drink. Man. You're talking about you or her? Her. I was a good kid. I didn't do any of that stuff. I don't believe you. I did a lot. <laughs> I 
was a complete alcoholic before I was 21. Really? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. It worked out for me. Yeah, I mean, you don't drink that much anymore. I don't. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Like, I can't drink beer anymore. It, just, it hurts my stomach. Yeah. I don't have a sophisticated enough palate for, like, hard liquor. Oh, uh, that's gross. Maybe, you, like, do you drink enough of it, like, you get past it, where it doesn't taste like gasoline? Probably, but I don't want to get to that point. <laughs> and some whiskey's expensive. Scotch. Uh-huh. It's all expensive. Good beer is expensive. So, how did your week go? Anything interesting happen to you? My week? No, not really. No. You're adjusting to your new job? Yeah. I like the new job. But it's like, it's, you know, just a job. It's not bad? No, it's not bad. It's not... It's going to be good. It's going to pay a lot better than what it is right now yeah, in the you're, future. You're not able to work overtime yet, are you? Not really. Only because of my lack of knowledge right. of how things work there. And because everybody else gobbles it up before I could even get a chance. Yeah, Shelly's got like 21 years seniority, so she signs up and she works pretty much wherever she wants. Yeah. Like she worked all this weekend. I literally just turned my nose up at some blonde that walked by like I was better than her. <laughs> like I could do better. <laughs> oh, you think you really could? I've done better. Oh man. I don't know that I have. I'm always just hot. <laughs> <laughs> I really oh yeah, that. speaking of that. What happened? Or the other girl is out of town. Girl's out of town. You said she was going out of town this weekend. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think she was just going to Detroit to party with friends. That's stupid. She could have partied here. Yeah, she's got with a lot me. of friends. She goes to Electric Forest. I was thinking about going this year, actually. Kind of I went to the first chick. one. Yeah, that works. If we could somehow write it off as a business expense for our podcast, we we'll go. <laughs> I don't t- you know, we have to be a business first. We are a business. We create a podcast. Yeah, but that's not legally recognized. It's just us saying. I bet if we put together a proposal and put it to the electric forest, like we were going to come to the electric forest and do a podcast every day and post online, we would be allowed in. You think so? I think so. Let's do it then. Let's, I mean, it, all they can say is no. My morning jacket is headlining, and I actually know them. You don't know them? Yeah, I do. No. They, they opened for Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam had them. I thought you meant, like, personally you know them. Oh, no, I don't know them. I know <laughs> That's what you them. make it sound no, like. No, I know of their music. Yeah, they're good. I don't really like them. I do. I don't really like any music. <laughs> I hate everything. <laughs> That's not true. I, I like music. No, there's gonna be yeah, a, there's really gonna be a few good acts there. The there's two time. weekends though. Yeah, it's like two full weeks of a lot of Yeah, but the week in between, they like clear out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I don't know. I don't know. This is the first year they're doing two weeks. Two weekends. I thought it was a solid two weeks. No. Or maybe it's a solid week. It's two weekends. Oh. They do. It's expensive. Yeah, I mean it's like any other festival. I went to the first year of it, yeah, and that wasn't bad. Is I, Dave Matthews Band there that year? No, that was Rothbury, and okay. that was the b- first year of Rothbury, okay. 2008. Dang. That older Russian woman kind of had a nice part. Oh, is that who that, who that was? Dang it. <laughs> Got me again. <laughs> Just getting into a big old black uh, Escalade truck? No. Is that an avalanche? Probably. Anyway. No, no, no. Parked um, by a stupid Buick. No, they parked by me. I parked by a Subaru. Oh, that car. Oh, that car's always here. That's why I know that car. <laughs> oh, it's this old woman who works here. She's such a bitch. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's an Ohio her. State fan. I, I yelled at her once. I came to Barnes Noble and I bought a comic book here. This, this woman just pulled into the parking lot, by yeah. the way. 
it's stupid. I bought this comic book and I went home and I noticed it had a tear on the back of it. I was pissed. So I turned around, came back. I was like, I want to return this. And she's like, they're like 12, just so we're clear. clear. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know who that is. It's some guy. I've never seen him before. So it's not the girl we were even no, talking about. I've never seen this person before. But finish it. Finish what you were saying. Anyway, I, she like yelled at me. It's just like saying that they don't return comics. I was like, you're taking this back. This was ripped. I'm not gonna own this. And I threw a fit. <laughs> I threw a tamper tantrum. So did you? They get took the, it back. Yeah. Did you get your money? Yeah. Oh. My three dollars back. It was three dollars. You're such an ass. You could have just bought another one. I'm in a different day. Maybe. Maybe you couldn't, couldn't find that issue again. Maybe. Maybe they shouldn't sell ripped merchandise. There's probably some shitty little kid that came through and ripped it. Thinking he was funny. Kids ruin everything. They do. They ruin their mom's vaginas. I don't think that's true. I think they do. Stretch it. Yeah, but they can... The mom can tighten it back up. How? Kegels. Hey. Kegels? That's a thing. All right, we're going to need our number one fan to do some research. <laughs> Katie, I want to know about Kegels. I think... Does she listen to Oh, no, we could ask... I think so. I think Patrick makes her... <laughs> well, yeah, when they lay in bed together and touch each other. And no, speaking of Kegels, though... <laughs> Katie? No, no, no. Let's just call him Do you remember, you remember Josh? Uh, Sticky. Yeah. He uh, hung out with him once during the summer. This summer? Yeah. Why? We went to play Pokemon Go. What an idiot. I think he wanted to touch my finger. He probably did. I was like, nah. I didn't put that vibe on at all. Yeah, he's a gross guy. But he does. Yeah, he, he's uh, he does his butt kegels. That's I don't know. He told me that one time. Maybe he was lying to try to act cool because he did that a lot. If you're listening, I think you're a terrible person. I don't think he's listening. Probably not. I is think the last week we only had 15 people listen, and probably 10 of those were Patrick. Kellen? Yeah. Do you think they have, like, a game where, like, every time we say one of their names, they have to do something to each other? Sexual or yeah. just, like... Well, yes. Yeah, so. uh, I don't know. That'd be fun, though. Be kind That's of an idea. There you go, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, take that, Katie. Uh, that's an idea for anybody, though. We could say a whole bunch of names. Larry. Hey, if anyone wants a sexual shout-out, they just have to email us. Yeah. That's what this could turn into. A sexual shout-out? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Another idea. <laughs> did I, did I tell you what Maria said? No. What did she say? She, uh, she said, send me the link for your podcast, which she meant podcast. What did she say? Podcasts? Podcasts. Podcasts? Yeah, so we could do a whole podcast called the Podcasts Podcast. <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, and it'd just be about cats the whole time. But you know how many people would listen to it? Every okay. single person with a cat. Cat people are dumb. They're not. I used to think that. Okay. But All right. Here's my proof that cat people are dumb. They contain an animal in the house that literally shits in a box. And then you have to go and clean up after said animal. That could be said about, like, your grandma, though. Yeah, but she's a person, a human being. Yeah, but she doesn't always make the toilet. Yeah, but that's a human being. I'm not going to clean up after that. You don't have to. Some... You don't... <laughs> I don't you know where I was going with that. You clean out the litter box. Yeah, if... Or they get mad, and then they go wherever they want. Yeah, cats are temperamental. Filthy beasts. I'll admit, I didn't... I didn't like cats for a long time, but then I started hanging out with Patrick and Katie, and Katie has those cats, and they were cool. Willow's cool. Did they name it Willow after the Lucasfilm movie Willow? I, yeah, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a good movie. I love that movie. Yeah. But yeah, that was another idea for a podcast. The Willow cast? No. Oh. Podcasts. Podcasts. That'd if, be a fun one. What if it was podcasts and all we talked about was Thundercats? <laughs> <laughs> that 
the Thundercats podcast. <laughs> Thunder. I've Thunder. never, I've never watched Shut Thundercats. Up. Never. I didn't grow up in the '80s. And they just did a reboot of it like six years ago on Cartoon Network. Oh. We got a different strokes thing going on right here. Different strokes, it takes different strokes. <laughs> Did you get the joke? Yeah, it's a black kid and a white guy. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I grew up in the 80s. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that was a good show, though. I watched that a lot, actually. Did you see the episode where Arnold got in the last in the bicycle shop? No. It happened. Yeah, that's his butt. Why? Because there was the Molester episode. To be fair, though, Arnold was actually like a 40-year-old man. Yeah, he was creepy. Yeah. He died a few years back. Gary Coleman? Yeah. Yeah. Sad. He kind of died, like, broke, I think. I think a lot of people like that do. Like child stars? Yeah. Child stars? Oh, here's an interesting fun fact, and I don't know her name, so maybe I shouldn't say it, but there was a girl who grew up in Spring Lake who went into porn. Really? Yeah. Spring Lake is near where we live. Yeah. But I was not listening in the area. I don't think it was Katie. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't well, Katie. One of these days, she's going to listen to like the whole episode and like email me like death threats because I talked about her and said it's too much. Pro- no, I don't think that'll happen. She's pretty uh, free-spirited. I think she's got a good sense of humor. But this girl from Spring Lake, or was this she's real? Like, yeah, no, for real. This girl grew up and she like did porn. I know her name though. How do you, how do you know this? It's just, it came up. How? I don't remember. <laughs> I just I know like, This I is the worst story, story you've ever told. I don't know her name. What's her porn name? I don't know. Look I it up. Spring Lake Film Star? Yeah. We could write an article and that would be a great headline. Spring Lake Porn Star. People would read that. Maybe. And then they would share it based on just the headline. <laughs> because that's what people do. I think we really do need to get the podcasting for Dummy's book. <laughs> we were looking for one before we started recording. <laughs> and we couldn't find one. And then Patrick went to the front desk and he asked if they had it. They said they don't have it in the store. I can't find her on here, but there was a girl who grew up in Spring Lake who did porn. Did you see any of them? No. Wait, well, like, how old is she? I heard that she's probably in her 30s now, so she's out of this. Yeah, that's such a... They retire early. Fuck it. They get used up. Like, <laughs> gross. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a weird thing. Yeah. I'd like to... Do you think she moved back to Spring Lake? I think she did. Oh, man. <laughs> what do you think she does now? Like a librarian? She works at, like, the Admiral Gas Station. <laughs> You had to pick the dingiest one. It is. This is a pit. I don't know of a nice Admiral gas station. Oh, yeah. They're all gross. All the ones I can think of are either shut down or, like, about to be shut down. Yeah. They look like they should be condemned. Yeah. That shit looks like a mad addict. No. I don't think it's Katie's sister. Anyway. <laughs> What else were we going to talk about? Nothing. We had no plans. Um, I was going to set up an email for us. And you didn't? I didn't. Yeah. I thought, I thought of a good name. For what? The email. Oh, what's, what I is it? I want to tell you on air in case someone sends it and steals it. Oh, okay. I don't want anyone squatting on our podcast. Email. Santa? Oh, hey. That's an oxygen thing. That's a healthy Santa. Yeah. <laughs> Die. No, well, yeah, I mean, there's too many people. Seven and a half billion people on Earth. Isn't that crazy? That's too much. I remember when it went just over six billion. I remember when it we hit seven billion. Are they projected that we we're going to hit seven? When was it projected? I don't think a year ago, maybe two years ago, 2014, 2015. Yeah. But I just thought that's crazy because they were like, this is the... the most amount of people that have ever been on the planet uh-huh. once or something. I don't know. It's crazy. We're using up all our resources. And we just need to get rid of some people. Well, yeah, but how do you do it? Like, 
I don't know. I really like a, a flu pandemic would be the way to go. That only targets the less desirables. <laughs> yeah, well, I think. How do you? Who constitutes yeah, the less desirables? Less, that guy in that room had his less desirable. No, he looks cool. Like a no. I bet he brews his own beer. Yeah, exactly. What? <laughs> beer of mine. Um, no, like, our government doesn't even believe in climate change. That's what blows my mind. So, I don't know. Do you not believe in climate change? No. You don't really? No, I do. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> that seems weird. Yeah, it's been a pretty warm November. Yeah. Until yesterday, Jesus. That's why I had the nosebleed today. Friday was 70. Yep. Yesterday was 30. Yeah. <laughs> it was a 40 degree difference in days. What the fuck? Yeah, that's nuts. I can't handle it. What is going on there? Grossness. So, uh, we were looking at, is that a girl? I, it's a girl. The one on the left? Yeah. I can't tell. It has to be. Weird. Um, we were looking at vinyl earlier. Yeah, records. I didn't know they sold new vinyl records at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, it's becoming quite the, the hip thing. Apparently. Do you have a favorite artist? Favorite artist? Yeah, Fish. Fish. Yeah. Shout out to Fish. Shout out to Fish. It's called P-H. P-H-I-S-H. Check them out. I've been around Check for over out. 30 years. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite... Pearl Favorite Jam. Band? I would say probably Pearl Jam. Yeah, obviously. I've been to their, I've been to like three or four shows. Uh huh. Have you seen them at Wrigley? I did see them at Wrigley. See, yeah. I would love to see a show at Wrigley. I think. 2012, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly. <laughs> That's a three-year span. It was like three or four years ago. I don't remember. Okay. I was supposed to go last summer, but I bailed at the last minute. Do you have a favorite song ever? Hmm. I go like back and forth. Like I have a favorite song for a while, uh-huh. and then I'll be like completely sick of it. All-time favorite song that I can never get sick of is a song called "The Wait." The Wait. Yeah. The fish. No. It's by the band. The band. Yeah. That's what they're called. They're really good. Check them out too. Shout out to the band. The band. I think my favorite Pearl Jam song is called Nothing Man. It's a slower song. Really? Yeah. I don't cool. I don't know much about Pearl Jam. Um, they're just a cool like nineties alt rock band. Mm-hmm. That's it. Their concerts are pretty long too. They have good shows. Yeah. That's what I've heard. I've heard some of their live stuff is really good. Yes. What about country music? Do you like country at all? Um I'm not a big that's, country fan. That's sort of a blanket term. I like some country. Like Johnny Cash was considered country. Country Western. Yeah. So, okay, well, I like Johnny Cash. I do too. But I like, I don't know. It, I like, I don't like anything that's put out now, yeah. really. But, but, how do I want to put this? I like bluegrass music a like lot. Sturgill Simpson? Yeah, I've not. I've only heard it a couple of tunes by him, but oh, he's good. Yeah, check him out. Um, yeah, really anything bluegrass. Like old bluegrass. Yeah, old, new. It's, it's all good. Like Hank Williams Senior bluegrass. Is that bluegrass or country western? I think that's even more country western. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not the uh, official. To ask about that the music aficionado. Yeah, I like music a lot, but I'm not any kind of authority. You've actually made a CD, though. Haven't you? Yeah. I bought it. You, did you buy it, or did I just give it to you? I think I, I just gave it to some people. <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's all instrumental. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I just actually Friday recorded drums for the band that I'm in now. Awesome. Yeah. What's the name of the band you're in now? Ergaster. Ergaster? Yeah, Ergaster. What does that mean? It's like, uh, like we're homo sapiens. 
the evolution before us were Homo ergaster, the first man to he like use tools. Okay. So, so like they, I think it roughly translates to working man. Okay. And I, it's uh, it's a pretty cool idea, I think. I heard over the summer that scientists believe that some chimpanzees are actually in the Stone Age today. What? Yeah. Like, chimpanzees across, like, three or four different chimpanzee groups have begun what we would call the Stone Age of tool working. Really? Yeah, they actually use, like, some primitive type tools to do stuff. And they're not really making anything, but they would use, like, uh, a stick to, like, fish out ants. Uh-huh. Or termites, I think they eat. See, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, I know the apes is coming. <laughs> 47 billion years from now. <laughs> yeah, Earth stuff, man. Earth stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What else are we going to talk about? I don't know. We need to get, like, organized. We need to have notes. Oh, uh, well, yeah. We need to have an email. It's <laughs> just a bad week. <laughs> Did you say we were, like, filling up our sound cloud? Yeah, we have to find a new spot to host it. Oh, or maybe have to post this one on SoundCloud. Yeah, they'll just bump the the last, the oldest, the oldest episode out. People better get on if they want to listen to us. Yeah, they've already bumped the first one out. Oh man. Oh, yeah. That was golden too. Yeah, that was really good. That's why we need to find a new place to host. <laughs> yeah, we need to put stuff on iTunes. Yeah, I've been looking at places that would do that, and I've got a friend who's looking something looking at something for that too it's really vague do we need like a server I don't know a computer we need that <laughs> podcasting for dummies book we do <laughs> I'll, how about I'll try to order that this week okay because apparently Barnes & Noble Muskegon doesn't have it in stock yeah so I'm going to have to order it from Amazon <laughs> so I get my prime discount Someone told me today about uh, Amazon Prime Now. Have you heard of this? God, what? What are they going to come up with next? Apparently, like, you can order something and it's delivered within hours. What? Yeah. Prime Now. Do they just have warehouses in every county and they must. every state? <laughs> Guy was telling me, like, he's like, if I ordered something right now, this was at, like, 8 o'clock in the morning, he's like, I'll have it by, like, 1 o'clock this afternoon. I was like, dude, that's crazy. What would you need that quickly? I don't know. Well, we're all about instant gratification. I don't need it. I mean... I love that I can order something on Prime and it's, like, delivered within two days. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty fast. But same day? That's crazy. That's... We're becoming too comfortable. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you ready for the meteor to hit? Is there one about to hit? Yeah. When? I don't know. Or are you just like... I made it up. Like an apocalypse now scenario? Yeah. Are you ready? Be a bad thing. I mean, I don't think I would like, survive. You don't think you'd survive? Why? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> like if you you need to, the instant if gratification. If you get up today, though, and like, you didn't... Say we couldn't just go to the store and buy bread. Mm-hmm. We had to like go out and like, try to find our own food. Mm-hmm. Every day. Yeah. It would be exhausting. Yeah, but if that's all you had to do all day, every day? Yeah. What else would you do? I mean, go, go around and talk to other people about how poorly they're doing. I feel like everyone would be doing Build a house. We already have a house. Are you saying, like, if all the housing was, like, white? Yeah, if all the houses just went, like, all over? Yeah. Just build, the meteor? Yeah, build the house. It would take a while for me, but I think I could adapt. I'm not good at building. You don't have to be at first. I feel like you would get good? Yeah. If that's all you had to do, I mean, you're what, like 50? I'm like 40. <laughs> so you're 40. You have at least 20 good years left in you. Yeah, but if a meteor hits and wipes out like housing and food, you have to figure like medicine is going to go down. Yeah, but what do you need medicine for? I'm not healthy. Do you take medication? Yeah. For what? Uh, 
Or do you not want to say? Well, I take like depression medication. Really? Yeah. Depression. Well, if there's nothing exactly. around, you don't have anything to be depressed or anxious I'm depressed. about. I can't like watch TV. I can't play video games. So, what does depression mean? I don't know. You're like sad and. What are you going to be sad about when there's nothing around to be sad about? Well, there's nothing to be sad. If there's nothing that's left, that would be sad. I think that's just being sad then. That would be depressing. I don't know, depression is a... You'd be too busy to be sad and depressed. Exactly. You have to go out and you have to find... If you want to live, if you don't want to live, you'll just die. Yeah. Dude, I'm lazy, but I'm like selfish, so I'm not going to live. Yeah. That's good so, though. So, lazy. <laughs> yes. so yeah, you you'd survive. Oh, I'm fairly sure. I'm sure I can. I can fish. I can hunt. Can you hunt? Oh yeah. When's the last time you hunted? Last year. Really? Yeah. Did you get anything? No. <laughs> I so. The mighty hunter. <laughs> I killed a deer the year before though. Did you? My car. My bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> I hit it with my Saturn. Oh, that's right. You told me about that. We reamed it. Yeah. So, um, what about you? Can you hunt or fish? I I haven't hunted in over ten years. Have you ever killed anything? Not with a gun. I hit a lot of stuff with my car. I don't know if I killed that deer when I hit it so long ago. I hope I did though, because I hated it. Did you not get out and check? No, I just drove home. Why did you check? I, I should not have drove home because when I got home, there was no fluid left in my car. Holy cow. <laughs> Was it your uh, Dodge that you have now or your old car? No, it was uh, the car before that even. It was a 96 Ford Escort. Oh yeah, that thing ran like a champ even after I hit the deer. Beastly. And then I sold it to a piece of crap. Person. Gosh. No. No, a, uh, one of my sister's ex-boyfriend's father's. Sir? No, I'm not going to say that's the only sister I really know. Yeah, you don't know Kirsten that well. No, I used to stare at her from the all the time. Really? Yeah. So why? She has a nice rack. Kirsten? No, Sarah. Oh, weird. I only met Kirsten like once. I'm going to tell her you said that. I don't care. Yeah, you'd probably tell her. I did. You did? <laughs> yeah, when well, we worked together. <laughs> did she say thank you? I think so. Uh, I so at least she's you. polite. When you hand out like compliments that? like that, I don't know. I wish she was son in bed. I think so. I thought she was dating some guy who had the kids yeah. for a minute, wasn't she? That's like, I don't know, dude. Her friend's on Facebook. Like, whatever pops up, that's why. She, is, she dates a lot of dudes who has have kids. Well, she's older. It's kind of like she's not, she's younger than you. Yeah, she's By a like lot. 35? No, she's 30. I keep picking on her and saying that she's 34, but she's actually 32. She looks like she's 30. Yeah, she 40. looks rough. She knows it, though. That's horrible. And I then, love you, Sarah. And then you have Kristen. Yeah. Who is my younger sister. But don't you have an, another sister? I have two more sisters. You have two more sisters? Yeah. You said one was a real POS before. I just don't like her. Just don't get along with her? No. I get along with my two younger sisters. I have three older half sisters out of mine. So. Yeah. No, I like my other three sisters though. They're nice. Cool. Let's see. Nothing else happened this week. It was kind of a boring week. It was a very boring week. And next week is a short week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this week. You got Thursday, Friday off. Huh? Do with pay. Even Friday? Yeah. I don't have Friday off anymore. I get kind of jumped this year. That sucks. I don't even care. Do you get like any kind of holiday pay? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad then. I just I use up all my vacation time early in the year when I went to Florida. When I watched your house. Yes. That was fun. Was it? Well, except for your stupid pigs. Why would they do? They were just annoying. I kept nipping on my feet every kept... time I went to feed them. <laughs> what are their names again? Uh, Juicy and Meadow. Man, I did not remember that. Juicy and... <laughs> are you going to slaughter those pigs? Nope. They're just pets. What? They're not like feeder pigs. They're pot pigs. 
They're huge. Yeah, but you can't. It's all fat. It's not like good fat. You just need to put them on an exercise program. An exercise program? Yeah, get rid of that fat. Those are pot belly pigs? Yeah, pot belly mini cooney coasts. No, those are huge. huge. Yeah, and they don't like, they eat like good food. They eat pig feed. Yeah, that's good. I don't. It's very nutritious for pigs. Do they eat your scraps at all? Yeah, some, well, yeah, a lot of fruits and vegetables. Sometimes bacon. That's okay. Both you remember Tori Swanson? Yeah. She feeds her pig bacon. That seems weird. I'm pretty sure there's a video of it. Do you think Tori Swanson listens to our podcast? Probably not. She is hot. She's very pretty. She's pretty. She's not like LA hot. She's like Michigan hot. She posted a picture of her like side by side with and without makeup on and I thought it was really funny. Did she wear the rough without makeup? Yeah. I'll say it. She's a nice person though. I'm sure she's a great person. She's just a, a girl who uh, has a lot of money. What do you mean? She has, she has to do a lot to be hot. So. Yeah, I think some women are like that, though. But that's their choice. Yeah. If it was up to me, I'd say just do away with makeup in that whole industry. Yeah, it's so unhealthy. And dumb. It's just dumb. Time consuming? Yeah, like. I dated a girl once, and she said she'd be ready by 6. We wouldn't leave the house until like 7 30. So, like. Stupid. See, I've never had that problem. The two girls, uh, three rather. Well, two, I don't know. That I ever did. You, you need to get on Tinder. That's what, ah, that's what I hung out with Ben and Maria last night, and that's what Ben said. I just feel like that's such a dirty thing. Ooh, I don't think so. Oh, I've, I've done it before, and like I downloaded it and then erased it and downloaded it and erased it a couple of times, and it's just like, eh. Well, I mean, if you're just looking for like a quick hookup, I think that'd be gross. Yeah, but if you're like, I don't know, looking to meet somebody, I think it'd be alright. Yeah, but like, whenever I'm. <laughs> Whenever I'm on Tinder, I just like swipe right without even looking at anybody. I just is keep right swiping. Is right good or bad? If right is like, pass. I think, yeah. Left is pass. I just go yes, yes, yes. I, it's like you're casting a wide net. Yeah, it's casting good. a wide net, and I mostly get, uh, I don't know, a Dumb. bad fishing term. <laughs> Suckers. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Suck it. No, I met a couple of cool people on there, but never, like, in real life, which is, ah, that's, that's a little weird thing. Were Ben and Maria dating? No. That'd be weird. That would be weird. He's so tall. She's so short. Yeah. Why don't you date Maria? That wouldn't work. Wow. She doesn't want kids. Oh, and you do? Yeah. Well, don't tell her. Just, <laughs> just be like, no, Surprise. I just kids. Nah, nah. Maybe she will want kids. It's one day. I doubt it. Well, I don't know. Shelly didn't want kids. So. Shelly doesn't have kids. No. She didn't want kids. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Like, she Good didn't example. Want kids, and she was pretty focused on it. So. She never had kids. Yeah. Oh, look at this picture. So gross. Maybe. That's a disgusting thing. Yeah. I would never date a girl with a baby. No. So Maria's out. Yeah. Tori's out. She's Mar- Tori's dating a guy. So? <laughs> so yeah, Things you're change. right. It doesn't matter. Things change. No, that one seems pretty solid. Mostly. Yeah, nothing's ever solid. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's up for interpretation. Well, things change. I mean, I was married for exactly seven years. Exactly seven years? She left on our seven year anniversary. That's rough. She was a cunt. But yeah, you didn't she like does. her. No, I hated her. <laughs> the whole time? Nah, the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> that's a long time to be miserable. Well, that's what it was. I, uh, I grew up with that in mind, that uh, you, you go out with a girl, you date, you get married, you have kids, and then that was it. Like That was life, huh? Yeah. That's and such a bad choice. <laughs> It's not a good thing, dude. Well, yeah, that's not exactly how I plan on doing it. But I wouldn't. I would. I don't know. I would get in trouble if I was on Tinder. 
Oh. Because I would just go for the hookups. Really? Yeah, like totally. I wouldn't pass on them, but that's not what I'm looking for. It's just nothing good would really come for me. I would say, if a girl was like, hey, you want to come over and do stuff with me and my vagina? And I'd be like, yeah, totally. And then I'd go over there and I'd be like, you can't do this. Like, I would just shame them. You would say that to her? Yeah. Like, that would be fun. What are you doing? What is wrong I'd with her? I'd just bring her some hot cocoa and would watch a movie. I'm sorry your dad talk didn't to her. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, this is bad. You would really say that to her? What yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm only human. Right. I don't know. I just, I have that personality that wouldn't be good. I was never good at one night stands, but... You had some? Yeah. Oh. So, I never, I've never had one. Yeah, they're fun. I'm not super courageous. Why? I don't know. What's I think worst, too much. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna say no. I always think like I'll meet, I'll see them like later in public, and they'll point me out, and they'll be like, "That guy's a fucking idiot." <laughs> that would be awesome. Like, he tried to do weird things. I tried to date this one girl I met in the bar once, and we hung out a couple of times. Bar is not a good place to meet people. No, she was really, she was nice, but she was really kind of stuck up. And a was, bar skag? Yeah. And uh, I ended up hanging out with this other girl, and I ran into her at Denny's. Ugh. And she made fun of a hat I was wearing. Like with this other girl? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why would you wear that hat? It was, it was like a plaid, like golf hat. It was awesome. Like a derby. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's That's got the button on the bill. Yeah. Yeah. I wore it backwards. It looked really good. Oh my god. You're stupid. <laughs> uh, it looked really good. It did. I love no, it. those don't look good on. Yeah, them. they do. The only person they ever looked good on was a man named Payne Stewart. And they look good on Joe Rogan. Okay, that's fair. Alright. Next week, I'm going to wear one. I'm going to approve you. I'm going to I wish you wouldn't. I will. <laughs> Wait. Nah. Do you have, like, a... This perfect image of a woman in your mind, like a dream girl? Yeah, my wife. Yeah, okay, that's what you have to say, but... I, for the longest time, I wanted to date like a hot blonde, and then I did, and I was like, it's cool, I like it. So you got what you wanted? Yeah. And now... Everything's perfect. That's good. Except you guys hate each other. No, we don't. <laughs> no. We, uh, we get along really well. That's funny. But <laughs> I see how you guys get along. And like, if I didn't know that you guys got along really well, I'd be like, oh man, they're, they're on the rocks. What's wrong with that? Yeah. <laughs> they're on the rocks. Because of the way you guys communicate. Well, we, like, like, she punched me in the mouth last night. <laughs> we were messing around. Not messing around, messing around. But right. I was just annoying her. And she's like, I'm going to fucking clock you. And, and you tried, wanted her to. I did. It was hilarious. I always tell her I want to do like dirty, dirty things to her. She gets all like, why would you say that? I feel bad for the people who are sitting around us. And we're just like randomly talking about gross things. Yeah, we're pretty terrible people. What about you? you do you have a perfect girl in your mind? I do. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty specific too. Okay, let's hear it. It's uh, this is horrible because Why? like, well, because I did sort of have this at one point. Okay. And she turned out just awful. Yeah, horrible person. Well, uh, she's not a great person. But okay. I hope she's okay. That's what I'll say. Is she addicted to meth? No. Is it Katie's sister? No, it's not Katie's sister. Oh, damn. No, my perfect girl has red hair. Okay. Green eyes. Oh, that's that's pretty fucking hot. Dude. Right? For real. That is like the best. She's way short, like five feet. Yeah. We're talking like midget status? No, not midget, because I think you have to be like four, four nine. nine. Okay. So over midget status. Over midget status. It's like five, between five and five four. Okay. And then. You know, That's, like that guy right there is the reason why I don't want to grow my hair out. He's like a douche. He looks like 
looks like uh, the poster boy for the wanted posters. Yeah. Okay, so back to your friend girl. That's pretty much it. Like she's gotta have she gotta be nice. Good personality. Yeah, really good personality. Not fat. No fatties allowed. Yeah, no fatties. <laughs> no. That should be our tagline. Hey, no fatties allowed. <laughs> No, I mean, like, they. I would like her to be health conscious, is what I would say. Health conscious? What does that mean, like? It means, I'm like... I'm not going to stuff my face with this fat burger because I don't want to be a fat lard. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> so, vegan? No, not that, vegan. Because that's gay. It's, yeah, pretty much. Unless it's for health reasons. What possible If it's reasons? to save the animals, I don't care. What they I, reproduce just like we do. Okay, I think, like, uh, like factory farms are horrible. Yeah, terrible. I fucking love bacon. But you can get it in a I place that's not factory farms. chicken McNuggets. Yeah, you can get those in a place where they're not factory where? farmed. Where? The, health, the farmer's market? The health food stores. Our, the farmer's market has chicken McNuggets. I don't eat them. chicken McNuggets. <laughs> Right, chicken nuggets. Yeah, make your own. From what? Chicken and nugget. <laughs> nugget? What is nugget? Is it like nougat? Like no, you just ground up, up, just ground up chicken, bread it, and bake it. No. Why? Because I could just go to McDonald's and order it for a dollar ninety nine. Then do it, you piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck the environment. <laughs> Fucking factory farms. No, they're bullshit. Anyway. They are. They're terrible. But um, some loud person's gonna sit next to us. I can't just, wait. On the phone, how good? We just gonna talk? Oh my god, the other day. Which is exactly what we're doing, oh, basically. Fuck. <laughs> the other day, me and my daughter were in the mall, and this woman started walking out of a store, and the alarm went off. And I was like right next to her, walking through the middle of the mall, and she was walking out, and I went. <gasps> She looked at me like, you fucker. <laughs> she turned around and went right back in the store. She was going to yell at me, I think. Really? Oh, yeah. She seemed like, I thought she was stealing, but I didn't really think she was stealing. <laughs> but she probably was? No, she because she was already turning around. But she, like, whipped her head back around at me like, I was, gonna, I was calling her out on shoplifting or something. Right. And she was going to yell at me loudly, like... He mouthed something to me. That's why I left. I mouth black people. Oh. So loud. I love black people. What do you think there? Uh, Pointing to the parking lot again. Yeah. Tap that. Both? Yeah. Because they were like older. My age. That's what I'm into, though. You're into older women? Yeah. When I was younger, like 18, I was into older women. I think it's going to be a lifelong thing for me. It gets old. And then when I was in my I think 30s, work with that girl. when I was in my 30s, I was into like 20 year olds. What? Yeah, I so, dated. A, I was 35 and I dated a 19 year old. Did you for real? For real. I was 25 and I dated a 19 year old. Fucking stupid. Yeah, that's 16 years for you. It was horrible. She was a horrible girl. What is wrong with you? I'm, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> she was Asian. Oh yeah! I remember you told me. You're so excited. Oh yeah! <laughs> no, I, you told me about this girl while we at work worked together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna say her name, Angela. And, uh, <laughs> oh wait, is that her? No, the same this one? Is a different Angela. Oh okay. So nothing good ever happens when you date girls with the same name. That's, yeah. You cannot date Angela, and then even years differently. Has date another Angela. I have a weird theory about names of people okay. that, like, say the name Megan. I know a lot of different Megans. I used to sext a girl named Megan. Sext? Yeah, like sex. Oh, like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't married at the time. I was living with another girl, though. That's good. But no, these people with the same names, like, they. The theory that I have is that they're the same types of people. Okay. I have no scientific evidence to back that up, but 
it's just through observation. Okay. Like people with the name Megan, I don't, I don't really like any of them. Oh, Trinity. Yeah. Well, we work with a Megan. She was seen nice. But no, she was, wow. she was awful. She's she's an awful, awful person. Okay. I do not like her. Do you have evidence to back that up? Do you have a story? Yeah, she's a homewrecker. Homewrecker? Why? What'd she do? She was, like, waiting to be with a married man who said that he was going to leave his wife and... Someone else we know? No, I don't know who this guy was, but she was bragging about it to a bunch of people that oh my God, we both horrible. knew. That is horrible. Yeah, it's terrible people trying to break apart families. I mean, maybe that family needed to be broken up. What is that face? This girl is a bird bee. For a moment, look at her. Bird bee. Big bird just sat down near us. This, these people he's talking about are maybe five feet away. That's very good. I'm really spot on today with that. The bird bee. I saw you responded. I didn't respond. I bet they're sisters. What if she heard me? She just came over and was like, you fat fucker. <laughs> That's kind of what I hope happens. I would that would be amazing. That'd be good material. Yeah. Oh, we need to think about putting stuff on YouTube also. That's what I was thinking. That might like be the next post because you can put hours and hours of content on there for free. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just have to take a whole bunch of pictures and like make a slideshow of stupid faces. Oh, uh, that's a lot of work. That's not. Yeah, you don't put any work in this. I'm going to have to. You know, I'm lazy, so you're literally going to have to do all the work. Yeah, I know. I feel like I'm the talent. <laughs> That's what, that's what you said before we started recording. I said, I can't hear you. Why are you talking so quietly? He said, because I'm a talent. I have to say my voice. <laughs> Fucking idiot. And the bird peaks have closer to us. Yeah. Why would they sit closer? They probably think I'm super... <laughs> that's not nice. I don't care. I know. They probably think I'm really cool looking. I like your hat today. They probably think that I'm out with my dad. I'm, I don't look like... You have gray in your beard. Because I have kids. Yeah. I never used to. I'm your kid. I didn't know what that old. For the record, I am not that old. How old are you? I am 41. <laughs> You're like a woman. I'm 41. What year were you born? 75. We, we talked about this, yeah. So you're about to be 42 on May 16th May next 16th. year. Yes. Good memory. How old are you? I'm 27. So I could not have... Oh, well, I guess I could. You better. could have. Man, that's... Yeah. I could not imagine being 15 or 16 getting a girl knocked up. Yeah. We should... Could ruin your life. We should get a whole group together of people like that. And like just talk moms? to them. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just talk to them. Why? That would ruin their lives. Why? No, no, no. They've already done the thing that They've ruined their lives. Their lives. <laughs> <laughs> you can only move up from there. So and then we talk to we'll get, yeah, we'll get to them and we'll say, this is what we want to talk to you about. So what's life like now? <laughs> like how much have you ruined your life? Yeah. But only like... 15, 16 year olds, because that's that's a rough time. My uh, my sister was like 16 when she was pregnant. Really? And what a whore. I, I know. Right? <laughs> my parents like really helped her out, so it didn't ruin her life. She's actually pretty successful right now. Oh yeah, your parents like helped a, her out. She's like an accountant or something. Oh, so she's good with money. She's really good with money. She's single? No. Neither of my sisters are single. Lucky them. Yes. <laughs> I would let you sleep with my sister, so I'm not kind of guy. How old are they? Uh, I'd say 30 or 40 now. Yeah, that's not out of my range. 39, 37. <laughs> that is within the range. Like, we wanted to use your plugs. Oh, third peak is leaving. Bummer. Her name starts with a D. Dana, I her name is. Ask her. No way. Why? You scared? Well, I don't want to know her. Why? I don't know, because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> her name was Danica. Dana? Danica. Danica? How do you know? I saw it on her car. Oh. Oh. What about my name? Da, da, da. My name. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. 
Well, we should probably wrap this up. Oh, yeah, it's probably it's, getting uh, about there. Try to be more prepared next week. Why? Set up an email <laughs> address. Will you really? Yes. Okay. Because I actually did think of a really good name. That you can't say? That I can't say, because I don't want people to spot it. Okay. Spot it. Whoa. Those are the two girls that were sitting. No, 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 no. Bird no. Oh, my God. Look at that. She had a bubble butt. Oh. Oh. She did not look good. Bubble butter face. Bubble butter face. We're terrible. We're a horrible human beings. I will, I will set up the email, and I will um, shoot it to you so you have access to it. Mm-hmm. I think we, should, we need to set up a Facebook and a Twitter and an Instagram account. Okay. We'll divide that up here. I mean, well, or I'll see, just do it. We need the email address first. Yeah. And then we can set up the other accounts with that. Do you want me to set up the email address? No, because I already have it picked out. I just need to do it. Well, right, but... <laughs> okay, so you do it, and then you send me the stuff, and then I'll make all the accounts. Okay. And then um, we need to make a note about the electric forest idea. Yeah. By doing a live podcast from the forest. Electric evenings, we'll call it. Oh, why did I say that out loud? Now someone's going to steal it. They're not going to steal it because nobody listens so to this. <laughs> like 15 people listen to this. Yeah. Who do you think is listening to this? Maria, Patrick, and Katie. Man. Of those, who would you sleep with? Patrick. Me too. <laughs> Dude, for real. That's how we're going to end it. <laughs> All right. All Goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Shoot. I'm- I'm doing it wrong. I don't know how to turn it off. I do too. It's it's just, I got stop. sticky fingers. Sticky. Oh no. There we go. You're not my dad. That was one from the vault. Remember to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Search for the Tap Podcast and you'll find us. Please give us a rating and a positive review if you like the show. We love you.